Hey family, please turn your mobile devices to landscape mode for the best viewing experience. Thank you. Welcome back to another episode of Hidden Heritage. Today we are going to be talking about whitewash heritage and how replacing the heritage is just as bad as suppressing the heritage. So you have in front of you the real chief Oshkosh next to a white Ross version of it. But before we uh, move any further, if you're new, please like, share, and subscribe. If you're not new, welcome back. Thank you so much for your unwavering support. Please also continue to like and share so we can get the truth out to as many people as possible. All right. So they show you another example of the whitewashing that they do or the whitewashing and replacing. So they actually just keep the old photo and then they just touch it up with some crap you see in front of you. It's embarrassing. So, and here you have this right here, old boy scouts of America pin of chief Cornstalk, And you see his hair, right? And then look, like they just they just can't help themselves like this is they don't even make half of them look like an actual mongolian they're just like straight up some dude some chad dude or something like that and then you have this uh the original deck of cards from the indian queen and look what they did to it watch this so let me pull it down so you can see the whole picture and what, watch what they did to it. Look. So they even put on the right-hand corner of the, of the screen, uh, on the whitewash version, they put the Indian queen. Like, who is going to believe that? You know, and they kept, they kept the, the squires or the uh, pages the same colors. So you know that, okay, somebody back there during the Indian queen time was actually Indian, but they just changed out the women, you know? So you got to like watch how they be doing this hijack stuff. And like, look, they went through like versions, different versions of hijacking the heritage. So you, you gotta, you gotta correct them. Every time you see like, no, that's, that's wrong. That's not the right version. Here's the right version. You know, like it's, it's embarrassing. And you have here an actual Indian, you know, it looks like your granddad. So, and they will try to be like, oh, that's just a darker version of a Mongolian. Let me, so let me ask you this. If you were to see him, if a, if a cop were to describe him to his other cops or to dispatch, who would he describe him as? You describe him as... A uh, copper tone brown skin uh, man. So the fact that he is trying to hijack and say that this was a dark skin uh, Mongolian, the people now today wouldn't even accept him in 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 their tribe today because of his, his uh, who he is, because they are a totally different person than what they look like now. This is a different person than what they look like now. So they can't even be like, oh, we just got lighter oh, over time. They don't even look like this. And then here you have, it says the inscription says a native savage of America. Ain't not one of them look like this now from head to toe. See, a native savage of America. And then we have uh, from a news article, Ron Graham's father, Theodore Graham, sent her as a youth with his youngest sibling, Rowena, on his lap in a photograph around from around 1912. Mr. Graham spent decades assembling documentation showing that he it is, is a citizen of the Muscogee Creek Nation. You know, so that's why it's really important to do that genealogy genealogy is the highest form of spirituality you have to do it 
It's not even like a question. Like you, you have to do it. And then we have a neg uh, black folk or, or aborigine glass negative from the Smithsonian Institute Ar Archive. So when they come and be like, oh, you know, this is just a dark skinned Mongolian. And then you hit, hit it with the negative. They don't they come. They're still trying to argue with you, but they don't go to the Smithsonian where you get the archive from and go argue there. So you got to watch them. They're just arguing with the messenger, but they don't. They never, ever, ever, ever go to the source. And then we have another hijack right here. The the woman on the coin does not look anything like the woman, the real woman in the picture. So you got to watch that. Another hijack right here. So. And and get this, they don't even just lighten the picture and change and keep the hair. They don't they don't lighten the picture and keep the hair the same, or the the uniform or the outfit or whatever she's wearing or he's wearing. No, they have to redo the whole thing and make them look completely different. You know, so you gotta you always gotta watch that. And then you have here two surviving images. From the original painting of the four Indian kings, not the four African kings, you know, not the four black kings, not the four African American kings, just Indians, because where we are in India, we are in West India. So this is why they were calling them Indians, because no, the explorers who came, they would not come to a place and be like, oh, we got a bunch of Africans here. Let's call them Indians. They would just call them Africans as well. They will call this place New Africa. They wouldn't build and reconstruct so much maps saying that this place is India if this place, if they were Africans. So they, it wasn't like they were Africans and they came there a million years ago. They were just their own people the whole time. And I, I got receipts. So these are the, the folks at the bottom that they tried to whitewash. And they destroyed the other two paintings. So they were only able to get four. Or only able to get two. So it's just... And then here we have... These are what the Hawaiians actually look like. So the Hawaiians now don't look like this. They're not the real Hawaiians. Because this is from the 1700s. And they found this painting in 2004. So look, this is what the Hawaiians look like in the 1700s. And then you have uh, people... That look like the people on the right claiming to be the descendants of the people on the left. Like this, this is what you have. The people that look like the people on the right claiming to be the descendants of the people on the left. I got to say that again. We have people that look like the people on the right <laughs> claiming to be. The descendants of the people on the left. When we have the people on the left, descendants look exactly like this in the Americas today. Okay, like you cannot make this stuff up. You have Mongolians and uh, Sp uh, the Mexicans from uh, Spain who look like the folks on the right claiming to be the descendants of the folks on the left. Man, like you seriously cannot make this stuff up. And then, and then when you look at this picture, they're all different warriors. All of these warriors are different. They're wearing different uniform. So these are more warriors. This is not just the same warriors in a different uniform. These are all different. So we have three, six, 
nine, 12 different warriors that look like the, the copper tone brown skin people in the Americas today erroneously labeled as black or black Americans or black people. And then you have like the Mongolians or quote unquote native Americans on the right claiming that they are descendants of people on the left. <sighs> you just cannot make this stuff up again. We, so we're going to switch it around. We have the people, the, like the Mexicans from Spain and the Mongolians or quote unquote, the native Americans who look exactly like the people the this guy on the left is claiming that they are in fact descendants of from the guy on the right and the people that the black americans or the black people who live in america who's done their genealogy who know they didn't come from africa who look like the guy in the right all of a sudden they're they're liars you know like you just it's so damn disrespectful again like there, these are there are two different types of people in this picture. One look like uh, the Black Americans. The other one looks like the Mongolian slash uh, uh, Mexicans from from Spain. You know, you you be the judge. Again, Codex Mendoza. These are from Mexico. These are the Americans. Are the people on the left? And then you have here the great big Ch Chickaboo, Chickapoo chief. Chief is synonymous with Indian. And then you have down here the bur a burlesque Indian coon song. And then you see how he's removing his war bonnet as, a, as being disrespectful to him. You know, you have the judge, you have the bailiff, and then you have the chief, the Indian. And then you can see this is from 1904. You know, look at the year in this uh, war bonnet. It says 1904. So this is very recent. So this is an Indian. It's not it's not an African coon. You know, it's not a, it's not a black coon. It's an Indian coon because we're. We are in India. And then even you have here the almost ancestors, the first Californians. Okay, let's get a good look at who he looks like to you today. Hmm? Does he look like the Mongolians or the 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 uh, white Mexicans, or does he look like the the Black Americans who should be? Labeling themselves as actually Indians. Because black is not a nationality. And even somebody on here had, this was in 1968, for, for crying out loud. A, a, the real Native American Indian. Right here. Original 1968 personality poster. Right here. The first Californians. And then they have a allegory of the four continents and you have America, A-M-E-R-I and the C-A is underneath. And look who they look like to you. Look at this guy, look at the other guy and look at the, look at the queen, the pearls around her neck and her, her, her crown, feathers around her, her torso. Who do they look like to you today? In 2023. And then we have these uh, statues right here. Artifacts. And who do they resemble? Like I, I said this before in my other video. For the braids. And the plaits. And the locks. They're, they're the only type of women that can put them in their hair. For a longer period of time without it falling out. For instance, and then we have the Indian queen that I showed you guys from earlier on the right, 
And then you have two Indians, and they're covering her with, like, I think a carousel. I'm kind of zoom out a little bit. So this is like the 1600s depiction of Indians. And this is all different artists at different periods of time. And they're depicting the people that look the same way as the people in America's look today right now. And you can go see them. And then we have from uh, the American ethnology from 1850s to 1930s. The National Anthropological Archives. Let me see what else it says. National Anthropological Archives, Smithsonian Museum Support Center, Suitland, Maryland, USA. And this is a Indian. I'm trying to see where it says it. Oh, there you go. See more items in glass negatives of Indians collected by the Bureau of American Ethnology, 1850s to 1930s. So more Indians. More. Another Indian. Another Cherokee Indian. On Pinterest. And I, I just want to bring this up so you guys read a little bit of the um, the artwork details. This is from 1700 German Stockeldorf, the, I guess the culture of, of the, um, the artifact or the, the uh, vase with covers, right? I just want you all to see all this stuff real quick. And then we have a little bit more, right? And then at the bottom... You see, the figures on the finials are personifications of Africa and America. So let's see what they look like. So you can guess which one is American and you can guess which one is African. But I'm going to say it anyway. The one on the left is American. The one on the right is African. And you see here, they know how to depict Europeans, as you can see, they know how to depict Europeans. So it wasn't like, oh, everybody was dark back then. So that's why they did it like that. And then you get a close up, but I got a better picture here. Okay. They were very deliberate in depicting who the real Americans were back in the 1700s, 1600s, 1800s, 1900s. You know, sorry about that. And now some more Indians. And then we have some Aztecs, right? And look who they look like to you when you see the close up. Let me see if I can close, do a, more of a close-up, right? And then you see the top of your screen right behind the pay attention to the right of the pay attention. You see the Mexico. You see that, right? And then his kilt, it looks like red, white, and blue. And you can see there are Europeans in the picture, so, like I said, they wasn't like depicting everybody dark back then, again, because that's like their, that's what they usually say as an excuse of why all these depictions, hundreds and thousands of depictions, looked like the the Black Americans in the USA today, because everybody else knows. All, all the neighboring, uh, all the countries know, like all of this stuff, you can go to Europe and see, um, you can go everywhere and see, so you can, in South America, you can see like the statues and stuff like that. Um, you can even go to Canada, but for some reason, the matrix of the USA has the most hidden uh, heritage of the real inhabitants of the Americas. And then when they find out that they are 
actually the inhabitant. They always want to say, oh, they just traveled from Africa the, a million years ago or some crap like that. And there are books that I talked about in my last video, and I was able to uh, show some receipts of how actually America is the motherland, the cradle of civilization. America is actually older than Africa. So whenever they're trying to be like, oh, but, you know, since Africa is a cradle of, you know, civilization or whatever, all life started in Africa, they must have traveled to to the West a million years ago and set up shop. And, and then when we saw them, that's when we was like, oh, the Mayans, it just came from Africa so long ago. But we have receipts saying that America is actually older than Africa. So all life did not come from Africa. So when you see these depictions of the people in the Americas today, you know, you will be like, oh, okay, wait. So, oh, but we got them from Africa in, in the 1200s and 1300s and 1400s and 1500s uh, off of a slave ship. And then when they do their genealogy, where they trace where their mom and dad is from and their parents on both sides and so on and so forth, and they see that it was originally labeled as Indian, okay, not African, not African slave or some nonsense like that. They were actually labeled as Indian. Then you can see that, oh crap, we're, we're busted. You know, they, they, they know they're starting to find out they're waking up knowing that they are not even, they're not even black. You know, they're actually Indian because black and white is just a category. So yeah, cause and if you're saying to yourself, oh, an Indian is a European name and it's just a misnomer, just like black. So I'm going to just stay black. Well, an Indian gets um, uh, protections, protection rights to life, live in uh, life security and uh, and um, uh, to pursue um uh, security for their for themselves and their family. They get their Indians uh, get benefits. Indians uh, get a, a lot of stuff. I covered it in my last video, so I can't really remember it at the top of my head. So if you ask me in the comment section, I will gladly send you the video. But Indian is not a misnomer. Black is a misnomer. African American is a misnomer. Even black American is a misnomer because you put the black in front of it. Now, if you remove the black, that that is not a misnomer. American is not a misnomer because you have a bunch of Europeans who've come after uh, only like 100 years ago. And they themselves don't call themselves European American. They call themselves just American. And they come after the 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 people that in the Americas today, the copper tone brown skin American Indians. Okay, so you have to think, you have to look at it like that. And I covered that in my last video as well. How it's erroneous to even call yourself black in 2023. That is not something you need to be doing at all. Especially if you're trying to get a, a, a like a reparations claim or something like that. I uh, already went over that. But here's another group of Hawaiian women dancing. And this is what they look like. What year was this? In the 1800s. And you can see that they depicted the Europeans. So they know how to make other characters... Uh, uh, white but they made sure made all these women the same color and even the surrounding um peep spectators and then we have uh i did i think one of those uh europeans is justice clark from 1963 
And then let's zoom, try to zoom in on how these Indians look from 1963. So this is recent. This is recent. And this is what they look like in 1963. And then I have I made sure to leave the website so you can even go check out the website to see if it's still there or if it's whitewashed. But this is a 19th century tobacco uh, wooden statue. So this is go far back as 1801. And then you get a little, a little bit of a closer look and look the kilt around his waist, his hair, the complexion, his facial features. Like there's no denying that this was an Indian, you know. And then I have an Indian Native American wood carved and painted wall decoration plaque antique. So you can see. They made sure depicted the Native American, the Indian Native American as the people that she's supposed to be looked like today. And it looked like this profile picture from Tasha G. Again, a resin Native American Indian woman. So she looks like the uh, resemble Tasha G. And women who look like her. These are the real Native American Indians. Again, another Native American Indian. Oh, man, I'm sorry about that. Look, from head to toe. Try to zoom in. Who does he look like to you today, man? Come on. And then we have a Barbados Penny, 1792. <laughs> you know, like, this is not like, look, look how he looks like. And look how much, how much it costs. So you know it's, so you know it's legit. You know it's authentic. You know it's authentic. Cause that's look how it looks. They would not be selling no fake stuff like that for five hundred and sixty-five, and then you still got to turn around and pay for shipping. They won't even let you get shipping for free. So they, they, they the the Europeans they 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 know who you are. And then you have the little Indian, and look how she look like. It's not a, not a little African now, a little Indian. Okay. Look how she look who she look like. Come on now. And then the Dutch and the Indians knew Amsterdam Amsterdam, sorry. From the series the Negro is the Indian. Like even back then in this uh drawing, they even know how to depict the who's who. And then shout out to Kuro Kuri Meo Khan on Instagram, you know, Cree Chief Aboriginals of America. It's look like Granddad. Again, next to the European. So they know who these people are. And then we have the Indian boy and his bear cub pets from 1921. And look how the the boy looks. Look at his hair. Name me one Mongolian with an afro. Like that. Or the hair like that. Or, or a Mexican. With the hair like that. That's like the white Mexicans. Obviously the regular Mexicans are just Mexican. They're us too. So. And then we have another. Inscription that says. Thus armed the Indian with his dart and bow, pursues with eager eye his woodland soil. I think the F's were the F's were S back then. Alright, so this is who you look like, man. It's not it's not African. It's not black. 
Like, they didn't call them black because they're not black. So genealogy will prove if you're looking at this uh, young boy and you're calling him black, your, your genealogy will prove that he is also not black. Just like you are not black. If you're still on that, uh, on the fence about call, still calling yourself black for whatever reason, you do your genealogy and you realize you were never black to begin with. You know, not even negro. Because they reclassified you to negro. So what were you before that? What were you before colored and mulatto and negro and black? And African American and Black American. What were you before that? You're gonna see you were Indian, which is not a misnomer. In in the India actually exists. You're in India. America is India. If anything, you, you could call yourself an American because America does exist, you know. But Black does not exist as a person. And then you have right here. This is from the West Indies. These are all four personifications of West Indians in this uh, button like uh, uh, depiction. And then we have some uh, artifacts or dolls. Little figurines. I mean, sorry about that. And then we have a Mayan Whitlocks and a, a Rastafarian Whitlocks as well. And again, another depiction side by side, top to bottom. Yeah, and then here's that guy in the, at the bottom left is a personification of Pedro Menendez de Aviles. And then you have the Temucuan, Temucua Indians right there. And who do they look like to you? And then you have a statue of an Indian. And who does he look like to you? So you have to... Man, this is like checkmate right here. You know? So this is going to be the last slide. And you can see a whole bunch of Indians just chilling, you know. So I'm going to leave a end of the video right here. But thank you guys for watching. If you stuck with me to the end, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you're not new, uh, also please continue to like and share so we can get the truth out to as many people as possible. And check out the rest of my videos because I do have like a lot of information in there like a lot of information if you haven't seen it go please check it out it's really cool it's amazing to like see yourself um as you're supposed to be seen in the world so um I'll leave you guys with that and please take care of yourself please take care of each other and Please turn on post not notifications so you'll be informed of my next upcoming video. And peace out. And see you guys on the next